Heather, what are you seeing tonight? Oh, so much devastation, Jessica. We are in Bay County, about five miles outside of Panama City. And it's really hard to put into words the devastation we're seeing. I mean, look at this huge tree just snapped right in half, right in this family's yard. We're seeing scenes like this all over this county, all over this area. And tonight, the folks who live here, they have no power. The gas stations are not open. They don't have any gas. And most of the people I talked to today tell me they don't have cell phone reception, so they haven't even been able to tell their loved ones that they're okay. This is as bad as it gets. It doesn't get any worse than this. Paul Fitzpatrick, like most of his neighbors on this street in Lynn Haven, didn't evacuate. When it got to where it was like, we should leave. They was telling us that certain place was closed down and just hunkered down, so we stayed. Reginald Cromarty hunkered down inside his house with his wife and four-year-old daughter. And we just started watching, as you can see here, just watching our trees fall forward this way, and we were just praying to God that our trees would kept going to the left. And we just heard the howling noise. You didn't know if it was a tornado or what, but it felt like a tor tornado was right on top of us. When the Category 4 hurricane passed and they came outside, this is what they saw. Trees on top of houses, power lines across yards, a scene unlike any they had ever seen before. It looks like a war zone. It, it looks like a war zone. It makes me sad. Melissa Buckley has lived in this community since she was three years old, but she just moved onto this street two weeks ago. She describes the damage here as catastrophic. Everything gone, destruction, house, no roofs, cars in ditches, Little Caesars truck in the middle of the road. All the train is literally on the side. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad everywhere. Not far away, the hurricane caused extensive damage to this church, but despite the powerful winds, the steeple is still upright. We are all very blessed. Even though all this is going around, we're all still standing alive. And that's the attitude we are hearing from countless people here. Now tonight in Bay County, a curfew is in effect dawn to dusk because the roads just are not safe to drive around. You have to dodge trees that are in the roads and power lines, uh, but help is on the way. As we were driving in today, we saw countless first responders from all across the state, along with National Guardsmen and along with tree companies and utility companies making their way into this region to help these folks get their lives back to normal. But all of them told me today it's not going to happen in a matter of days or weeks. It's definitely going to take months to even be begin to get life back to normal. You know, it's not just this one community. It is this entire region impacted by Hurricane Michael and Julia Dreyer continues our team coverage now. She's about 30 miles away in Panama City Beach with a look at the devastation there. And that is what we are witnessing here. Neighbors helping neighbors, this community and communities all around the state coming here to help one another. Now, right before we went on air, a search and rescue team stopped by our live truck and told us that they were headed to a house, a crushed house nearby where two people were trapped inside. So at this late hour, a day after the hurricane, it is still a search and rescue mission. That is the situation we are seeing here in Bay County. Uh, a lot of devastation. So many people need so much right now, but help is on the way. We are live tonight in Lynn Haven in Bay County, Florida. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side. Homes and businesses they worked for for years are all gone. My co-anchor Heather Crawford traveled to Mexico Beach and she spoke with families who are not only heartbroken, but regretful. It's pretty surreal being right here in Mexico Beach. I'm standing where just a few days ago a house stood. Hurricane Michael, as it came ashore here in this small beach town community, left behind utter devastation all around us. This is what we see. I mean, look over here. All of these houses just flattened by this massive hurricane. Salvaging what they can, homeowners in Mexico Beach sift through what is left of their houses. So these were all houses? Yeah. I mean, these are, see, this town, old town, these houses were built back in the 40s and 50s. Michelle McPherson and her daughter describe what it was like riding out Hurricane Michael inside a house on stilts. Just the feeling of almost losing my kids. I mean, I would never ever put my kids to this ever again in their life. The wind just didn't stop for two hours straight. It just, everything was rocking. It was, 
It was horrific. It's the worst thing I've ever been through in my life, ever. McPherson not only lost her home, but also her business, the Fish House Restaurant. If there was a nuclear bomb, this is what it would have looked like. And I mean, I'm just thankful I'm alive. She's been digging through the rubble, looking for her best friend's mother. Her house is flat. I mean, I can walk in her house where her house was, and there's tile. I mean, I'm like, here's the bathroom, and I started digging through the tile to see if she was there. She's hoping she was airlifted out. If anybody ever tells you evacuate, <laughs> evacuate. Do Don't be stupid like us. Don't ever, ever take any of this lightly. Don't ever take this lightly. If they say there's a storm coming, leave. And you look around here and you just realize how much rebuilding needs to be done here. But help is arriving by the hour. We've seen the National Guard here today. We've seen first responders not only from across Florida, but from across the country coming here to help this community get back on its feet. And it's really hard to describe just how widespread, how extensive the damage is, because it's not just here in this small beach town, but driving in from Panama City, miles and miles and miles of damage. So a lot of work still to be done. In Mexico Beach, Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side. Death toll has now climbed to 13 in the wake of Hurricane Michael. And while many residents chose to evacuate before that powerful hurricane hit, some decided to ride it out. Now, this is video you're seeing now from the Air and Marine Operations Blackhawk Air Crew from Jacksonville. They had to rescue people from their homes in Panama City. Well, that's something to see, and we continue our team coverage tonight from one of the hardest hit areas. Our Heather Crawford joins us from Mexico Beach. Here in Mexico Beach, it looks like a bomb went off. I'm standing where someone's house used to be. I mean, belongings like this piggy bank all over the place. The people who lived in this small, close-knit community lost everything. And today I met Michelle McPherson. She's lived here for 35 years. She owns the Fish House restaurant. Not only did she lose her home, she also lost her business. And now she has nothing. We're alive. We're alive. I thank God we're alive. That's all I can say. And you know what? We can rebuild. It's going to be a long, long time before we recover. None of us have jobs. They don't have jobs. We don't have a restaurant. We don't. I don't have a house. I just canceled my insurance on my house because it had skyrocketed up to six thousand dollars. I just paid it off, and I said, you know, I'll take the chance. And so, but you know what? I can rebuild. I'm alive. There is a sense of hope here. We have seen resources start to pour into this community. I've seen the National Guard here today, search and rescue teams, first responders from not only across Florida, but across the nation, all coming here to help these folks get back on their feet. It no doubt is going to take a very long time, more than weeks, more than months. This is gonna be a recovery process that's going to take years. But the folks I talked to who've lived here in Mexico Beach say they are ready to rebuild and they are just thankful to be alive. In Mexico Beach, Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side. People who live here in Mexico Beach say they never imagined Hurricane Michael would do what it did to this community. I mean, look at this. I'm standing where a house used to be. It wiped this house clear off the foundation. And look over here. I mean, the damage is just so widespread. Behind me, everywhere you look here in Mexico Beach, it's a scene like this. It really looks like a bomb went off here. They're getting worse and worse and worse and the house was shaking. We'd filled our bathtub full of water so we'd have for water for afterwards. And the house was shaking so bad that all the water came out of the bathtub and was all over the floors. Uh, and the wind just didn't stop for two hours straight. It just, everything was rocking. It was, it was horrific. It's the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. Just the feeling of almost losing my kids. I mean, I would never and her kids they're just three months old and two years old they survived everyone in her family made it out alive they don't have a house they don't have a job but they have each other and for that they are so thankful and for all the resources that are starting to come in to help this community so badly devastated by hurricane michael in mexico beach heather crawford first coast news on your side